Hey, what is going on guys? Lon here from Android Authority and we are hanging out with HTC doing a quick comparison of the Desire I versus the Desire 826. The Desire 826 may be the successor to the Desire 820, which was released just a few months ago, but in terms of design, it borrows heavily from the Desire I. The same dual tone color elements are available with both, with the Desire 826 including a few more color combinations compared to the Desire i. Again with both smartphones, HTC's signature front facing boom sound speakers are tucked away in a small gap between the display and the top and bottom bezels. With the Desire 826 featuring a larger display, it is obviously the larger of the two devices, but other than that the only noticeable difference is when it comes to the front facing camera. While the Desire I has the I up front, a 13 megapixel shooter with a dual LED flash, the Desire 826 instead packs a 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera. Both smartphones feature IPS LCD displays with a 1080p resolution with the only difference being the size. 5.2 inches for the Desire I and 5.5 inches for the 826, resulting in a pixel density of 424 ppi for the Desire I and 401 ppi respectively for the Desire 826. A negligible difference. As excited as we may be about Quad HD, these 1080p screens offer plenty of sharpness with the IPS LCD tech bringing the viewing angles and brightness it is known for. You will have a great experience on either of these displays and it just comes down to which display size you prefer. The Desire 826 packs an octa-core 64-bit Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 processor ideal to take advantage of the 64-bit lollipop. The Adreno 405 GPU handles most graphic intensive activities well and 2GB of RAM should keep things running smoothly. The Desire I on the other hand that falls in the premium mid-range category packs a quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 801, an Adreno 330 GPU and also 2GB of RAM. This is the processing package that we saw with every flagship in the early half of last year and as such still provides a fantastic experience. Remaining hardware remains the same with both coming with 16GB of onboard storage, further expandable by up to 128GB, and the same suite of connectivity options. As mentioned, both smartphones come with front-facing boom sound speakers, the best part about any HTC device. The Desire 826 now also comes with Dolby Digital Enhancement, which should allow for an even more immersive experience. Whatever faults HTC smartphones may have, the audio experience is still arguably the best you can get. The 2400 mAh battery of the Desire Eye may seem a little small, but performs really well as we found out in our review. The same and maybe more can be expected from the 2600 mAh unit that the Desire 826 packs. The big story with the Desire Eye is of course the fact that it packs identical 13 megapixel front and rear cameras. The Desire 826 also comes with the same 13 megapixel rear shooter, but features a 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera up front, which you will remember as the rear camera of the 1M8 and the M7. While the ultra pixel camera does allow for better low light photography, the Desire Eye comes with a dual LED flash up front to really light up your selfies. All said and done, the Desire Eye didn't offer as good a camera experience as may have been expected, and we are certainly hoping that will change with the A26, which we can't wait to put through its paces. When it comes to camera software, both devices come with HTC's Eye Experience package with its numerous modes and manual controls available to allow you to cater your shot just the way you want it. On the software front, the Desire Eye comes with Android 4.4 KitKat with a planned upgrade to 5.0, while the 826 comes with the Lollipop out of the box. Of course, HTC's Sense UI is on top in both cases. The Sense UI overshadows any Lollipop related material design add ons you may have been looking forward to, but certain elements have remained intact, like the recent app screen and the notification drop down, along with other minor changes across the board. So the software experience with both the Desire I and the 826 is quite similar. Sense UI has seen a fantastic evolution over the years and is now easily one of the better takes on Android out there. 
But that will do it for this quick comparison of the Desire I versus the Desire 826. We're still here at CES 2015 hanging out. Stay tuned for the rest of our coverage and keep it locked on Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android and CES 2015.